Jesus freak here. And I've seen a couple videos before I uh, <clears throat> jumped into the fray here, so hopefully the algorithm will point you to something. You might be familiar with something called the Passion Translation, produced by someone named Brian Simmons. If you heard about the story of the Passion Translation, you know it's not much different than when Joseph Smith stuck his head in a hat and wrote the book of Boney Maroney. He claims that he spoke to an angel named Passion. And was given a mandate to re, uh, to restore the Bible. He also says that he went to heaven and saw a book in the uh, heavenly library that said John 22. And recently... He apparently said to a congregation, he said this, I quote, I know when Jesus is coming back, when we bring him. First of all, just the phrase, I know when Jesus is coming back is heresy in an absurd degree given that Mark 13.32 says, but of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son but the Father if Jesus himself doesn't know when he's, he's coming back, if he's not privy to that information, who is Brian Simmons, a mere mortal, that he thinks he can know that? And to say that we bring him back implies that humans have more power than Christ. That's absurd! But most likely he's trying to push the Seven Mountains Mandate idea. Which basically says in order for Jesus to come back we have to take over basically seven elements of society This is something common in um, certain circles where they believe that we have to take over governments, the education system, the media, the arts, religion, family, and business around the world and establish a one-world Christian theocracy before Jesus will return.
Wait a minute, isn't one world nation supposed to be a bad thing? But nothing's consistent. If you're are already caught in a lie. He also says a second coming isn't scriptural. And thinks that people say, oh, since he's, he's behind the passion translation, that, that he must be speaking the truth. Revelation 1 to 7. Behold, uh, behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. This is also a quote from Zechariah. And all, all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. It's talking about Jesus coming in the future after he's already been here. What if not a second coming? Is that <sighs> Acts one eleven? After Jesus' ascension, a couple old angels show up and up and talk to. The disciples are standing there gawking. I'll start with verse 10. While they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. If he had already been here and left and it's going to come again. How is that not a second coming? These people need to be like the Bereans and do their research. And not just sit there listening to this heretic and nod their heads and go, Amen, Amen, when he's teaching such blatant heresies. What he has written is not the Bible. What he is teaching is not Christian. He is nothing less than the... Well, I won't go that far. But he sounds a lot like that snake in the that snake in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, hath God said. He's a heretic and should be shunned like a heretic. Jesus freak out. 